I yo what's going on YouTube welcome back to my channel it's your boy Beno Vlogs Cam Natural Media another Bangla Cam Natural Media another reaction video no cap the random stop right here and I go no 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 where I'm saying hopefully you guys are going good and have an amazing day you know what I'm saying so <coughs> look I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm ill as fuck my nigga like I've been ill for like the past three days very very ill I don't know if you guys can tell by my voice but yeah man I've been very very bad you know what I'm saying I couldn't feel my nose, my chest, everything was just burning, you know what I'm saying? But I'm feeling a little bit better right now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, then I'm gonna be reacting to um, my nigga Maxi Boy, you know what I'm saying? He suggested me to react to um, Food Trends and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So, that's gonna be reacting to today. Um, so, without me doing too much talking, if this is the first time you're checking out this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, man. We have 78 subscribers. Let's reach to 100 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Let's do that together. Yeah, man. So, make sure you share this video with your friends. Tell a friend to tell a friend. To tell another friend. You know what I'm saying? Share it with your mom. Share it with whoever you want. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. So, food trends are about to take over 2021. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's see. Let's see what, what, what they're talking about. No cap. Let me get this game recording. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. 2020 was a year unlike any other, to put it lightly. And its effects will assuredly still be felt in 2021. That's particularly true when it comes to what and how people eat. From boxed mm -hmm. wine to ghost restaurants, expect to see these food trends gain popularity in 2021. What food trend? In October trend? 2020, Whole Foods published a report predicting the trends that'd be taking mm, over. It's crazy, man, that thinking about it right now. That everyone is just going to the store, um doing their shopping that about a year ago you know what i'm saying everyone was having masks everywhere gloves hands on the time hands on the times you know what i'm saying Although yeah in 2021 one of the trends the company suggested is a rise in popularity for a range of new oils among at-home chefs these include walnut and pumpkin seed oils according to healthline pumpkin seeds seed oil has a number of health benefits it's good for your skin helps mm -hmm. lower blood pressure and that's true cholesterol level it's also good for your eyes, you know what I'm saying? It helps you with sight, you know what I'm saying? It helps you with clear skin. Helps you with, um, yeah, clear, uh, clean, clean, uh, um, nails, fingernails, you know what I'm saying? Come on now. I, I know about this stuff, you know what I'm saying? I know about everything. Come on now. And may even have anti-cancer effects. Pumpkin seed oil can have a positive effect on your skin, heart, and prostate. It's yeah. It's ward off depression and may even relieve some of the symptoms of menopause. It won't all be fancy alternative oils in 2020. This is education uh, stuff right here, you know what I'm saying? So you're welcome for putting you guys on, you know what I'm saying? Pay attention. According to Food Business News, 2021 will also see olive oil reach new heights of popularity. Food trend forecaster Elizabeth Moscow said alumilid, a component in olive oil with anti-hypertensive and anti-inflammatory properties, as well as... I don't know what anti-anti this anti bro. Just... Don't that be so extra. Neurodegenerative diseases are particularly attractive to health conscious eaters. Upcycled food also made it onto Whole Foods list of 2021 food trends, mm -hmm. and it's been on the rise for a while. In 2019, Ooh, what was that? Forbes reported that the upcycled food industry was worth $46.7 billion. And in May 2020, the term upcycled food was officially defined by the academics and nonprofit organization representatives that make up the Upcycled Food Association. The association defines upcycled food as using ingredients that otherwise would not have gone to human consumption, are procured and produced using verifiable supplies, what is that? and have a positive impact on the environment. While you may not have come across much upcycled food in your grocery store just yet, there are hey, look, is it just me? It looks like she obviously she's looking at what milk or some shit. It's just me. It looks like she just opened a TV and then just started spraying the milk inside that bottle. That's what it looks like. And then she's looking at hmm, did, did any hair, like any pubes, any hair like fell in it? You know what I'm saying? Products that meet this definition. White Mustache, a Brooklyn-based yogurt company, uses surplus fruit and whey for its products. Watermelon water makes flavored waters from what the food industry refers to as discarded melons. Rice products make flour from spent grains. And Toastale makes their beer brewed from surplus bread. More and more companies are making the most of whatever they can get their hands on. Daily coffee costs a fortune. Our white coffee is just not... McDonald's, your food is fake, eh? Your food is fake. Sometimes... Even though it tastes good. <laughs> but it's still fake. Magic really does exist. Pandora Brilliance. Sustainably lab-created diamonds. Hard kombucha is fermented tea that, unlike regular 
hard kombucha. Oh, is that how they do the bottle? Uh, is that how they close the bottles? I never knew that. I'm, I'm pretty sure you never knew that too. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I told you, I'm, I'm like getting you guys on game. Oh shit! <coughs> yeah, my nose. Like burgers, right? They taste fabulous. They taste fire. Yeah, but the way some people be eating and the way they be pressing the meat, it makes it look nasty. I ain't gonna lie. It makes it look disgusting. If you wanna be on, if you wanna be healthy, healthy, don't eat meat. Even though you eat meat, like makes you strong and shit. But like, eat fish. You know what I'm saying? That is much, much healthier. Cause meat, <laughs> of course, it's still a fish. Meat is still animals. You know what I'm saying? But the way meat, you know what I'm saying, is made. I mean, not made, but like, do they even clean it properly? Like. Like, is this most likely of you getting like more diseases or eating meat than fish? You know what I'm saying? So, you're welcome. Even though that, that was uh, obvious, you know what I'm saying? But still, you're welcome. Still not convinced. Hit the button, nigga. Donald's will finally offer its own plant based burgers in 2021. Between plant based burgers, consumers increasingly find themselves turning to what in 2020 entrepreneur called the sustainable snack of the Oh, shit. Turkey has always been a hugely popular snack food. It's tough, hearty, non-perishable, and it's packed full of protein. But as the plant-based food market has grown, so too has the public's hunger for a healthier, more environmentally friendly alternative. Food startups are experimenting with a range of protein alternatives, including mushrooms and soybeans, with one of them, leaf jerky, using recycled packaging too. Upton's Naturals is launching a wheat protein jerky. Here's my bill connecting. Brand Savory Wild is infusing its mushroom jerky nah, with flavors such as sweet balsamic and golden fig, roasted garlic and black pepper, and ginger and Korean chili. This stuff is far fancier than your average store-bought beef jerky. It's also pretty easy to make your own plant jerky at home. And you is can it? pretty much any vegetable you like. Jackfruit, cauliflower, and eggplant, for example, have all been cited as great starting points. <laughs> oh, man, two ass. Come on now. They really bugging right now. They're bugging. I knew that already. Alright, five minutes. Yep, I'm gonna react to the video five minutes, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, you know what I'm saying? Because the, the education was like just enough. You know I don't wanna like give all my secrets away, you know what I'm saying? Because obviously, I'm a genius. As you guys already know, I'm a genius. And, um, so by me putting too much information out, then you guys are just gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Just close to my level, not still on my level, but a little bit close to because <laughs> my level is just it's way higher, you know what I'm saying? So I just don't wanna give too much away, you know what I'm saying? No cap, I don't wanna give too much away. But hey, you can check the rest of the video out, you know what I'm saying? You guys seen the title, just type it in, you know what I'm saying? And yeah man, you know what I'm saying? It's been your boy Beno Vlogs. Comment down below what video you want me to react to next, Maxi Boy, if you're watching this right now.
spam me spam the comment section below like if, if so many videos you know what i'm saying spam me you know what i'm saying and yeah man i'll see you guys in the next match i'm about to post peace